Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to cover one more topic when it comes to working with these 4-in-1 ESCs and their flight controllers. In a, in a previous video where we had a board where we could solder the wires directly to pads on the board, I kind of showed you my methodology to doing that. In this case, we're using a flight controller where it has a connector for us, which should make things nice and easy. But what is really rare is where the pinouts will match up perfectly. Now you have one choice, you can do the physical method where you can depin this and move these wires around within the connector, which could be a little bit time consuming but might be your preference. The other way is we can use Joshua Bardwell's video to just remap the motors to the proper locations. And currently with this one, I have motors one and motor two reversed, and I'll show you that real quick. Let's go ahead and connect it with our little USB cable, excuse my reach. Go in here to beta flight, go down to the motors tab, we'll plug in our battery, we'll try to get in and out of here in under five minutes, how about that? Alright, so this is going to be motor one, supposedly, but it's not, and this is supposed to be motor two, but it's not. In this particular case, with this board, which is the F4 with OSD, all my motors were, were wrong. What I've done is I've already fixed motors 3 and 4. We're just going to swap motors 1 and 2. And it's relatively simple. So we're going to go ahead and disconnect our battery. We don't need that anymore. If we drop down to the CLI and I reach through here and we type resource, we see the resources that are in use. And we see that motor 1 is B00, motor 2 is B01. In this case, this is all we need to switch now you also see that we have motor 5 and motor 6. Of course we only have four motors. Motor 5 and motor 6 are not in use, so not to worry there. So all we need to do is we need to map motor 2 to motor, motor 1 and motor 1 to motor 2. Uh, I use a notepad. I do encourage you to either write it down for yourself or to copy this information out into WordPad or Word and save that digital format. So I'm just going to write down motor 1 needs to be B01 motor 2 needs to be B00. Kind of looks like boo for Halloween. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Now, one thing you can do and you can, you may find you have to do this is type the command resource motor none and that will free it up. Otherwise you might get an error. So in this case, just because we're swapping two, I could type resource motor one B001 and then that will take the value that's currently on motor 2 and assign it to motor 1 and then motor 2 would be free and then I can type resource motor 2 B00 just like we have written and then our motors will be all squared around so let's go ahead and do that resource I always mistype resource motor 1 B01 2 B00 now, of course, we need to save. That will reboot our flight controller as we get our tones here. And just to prove that this works, let's connect. Let's go to our motors tab. Let's plug our motor in here. Now, motor 2 and motor 1 should be reversed. And all should be well in the universe. ESCs are ready to go. Motor 1. Motor 2. And there you have it. That's all there is. If your motors were all jumbled up and none of them were labeled correctly as far as the beta flight goes, you can do this and you can swap them any which way you want. Uh, again, you may find you need to do uh, motor or resource motor, the motor number, and then none in order to free it up. Because if the resource is already in use and you try to use it twice, you'll get an error and the CLI will alert you to that fact. If you have any comments or questions, please leave those in the section down below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.